I don't know if you actually realize this, but we're actually in an unprecedented era of YouTube. Where every single day, continuously, a YouTuber is getting exposed for doing something horrible. And it's not just some random YouTuber, it's some of the biggest YouTubers that you've seen on the platform. Mr. Beast is probably the biggest example right now. But he's not the only one. What you see here on screen are all the people that have gotten exposed for something in the last two months. And most of the shit is not actually minor. Like, it's pretty serious stuff. Like, talking to minors and just doing horrible shit like that. And while it is kind of fun to just look at it and being like, haha, they're getting exposed, so many people are getting exposed. Have you actually ever wondered to yourself, why are so many people getting exposed right now? Why do people actually fall off? You've heard that term before, right? Falling off? A lot of people are falling off, but why is that? And you could be like, oh, it's because they talked to a minor or they did something inappropriate. That's a symptom of the real problem. The real problem is them forgetting the golden rule of doing anything in life. And the golden rule that almost everyone who falls off is forgetting is remembering where you came from. So many people neglect this rule that it's honestly insane. Because obviously every YouTuber has like humble beginnings, then they get a little bit of success, they're really grateful, then it kind of gets to their head, and then they start doing horrible shit. And it's because they've forgotten the golden rule of remembering where they've come from. And, my, and in my opinion, this is the biggest reason as to why people do this dumb, weird shit, which as a result causes people to fall off. For example, Mr. Beast, who is literally the biggest YouTuber, he is getting exposed uh, by this YouTuber called Dogpack. He made this full-on documentary on him, on Mr. Beast, and it was very well made, and it's kind of shocking the things that Mr. Beast has done. Like, Mr. Beast has run illegal lotteries, and he's, like, you know, using really manipulative, shady tactics to sell, you know, his chocolate and other things to children. And he's doing all this shit right now. Now, let's go back to however long ago, 12 years ago, when Mr. Beast started YouTube. I think he started YouTube around, like, 2012, something like that. Let's go back to that time, where he was, like, what? He's 26 right now, so what would he be, like... 14 years old. If we were to ask 14 year old Mr. Beast why he's wanting to do YouTube, why is he, you know, chosen to do YouTube, his answer back then was, I want to be the biggest YouTuber possible. I want to make the best YouTube videos possible. That was his goal. That was the reason why he started doing YouTube. And obviously it's different for everyone else, but this is, I'm just using Mr. Beast as, a, as an example here. That is the reason why he actually wanted to start YouTube. Now, if we ask that same 14 year old and ask him, would you, you know, basically, run illegal lotteries and, you know, manipulate children by using very shady tactics in your videos. Would you do that in the future? Would you want to do that? 14 year old Mr. Beast is going to be like, of course not. I would never do such a thing. Like, I just want to be the biggest YouTuber and I want to do good deeds. I'd never want to like, you know, s scam my audience or do, you know, s s uh, run illegal lotteries or anything. I'm never going to do that. 14 year old Mr. Beast would have never done what he's doing right now. He just wanted to be the best, biggest YouTuber possible. But now that Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber possible, he's kind of forgotten that now. He's forgotten why he actually is doing this. He's forgotten where he came from. Which is why he started to do kind of, like, you know, dumb shit now. Like, running illegal lotteries, you know, using very shady, manipulative, manipulative tactics uh, that are targeted towards children, his main audience, and a lot more other stuff. If you want to, if you want to know what he's doing, Go watch a dog pack's video, it's actually pretty good. But obviously Mr. Beast is not the only person who's doing this. Let's take Hamza for example, who is a little bit more, um, I guess, relatable to my channel because he's a self-improvement channel and now I'm kind of a self-improvement channel as well. Hamza, if you remember, a couple months back was getting a lot of heat for doing horrible things as well. For example, he called his audience low IQ people, uh, not like, just like two months ago. And a lot of people are calling his Adonis school a scam because it's not really worth the money. And you know, he, he got exposed for quite a lot of things. I'm not gonna get into it, but if you want, you can just search up Hamza and like, the first video you'll probably see is like a, you know, a exposed video. But as we did with Mr. Beast, now let's go to Hamza's beginnings, when he was, what, 22 years old? Let's go back to Hamza when he was 22 years old. And if we were to ask that 22 year old, why do you want to become a successful YouTuber? Why are you doing YouTube? He would probably say something along the lines of, I just want to, you know, I just want to be financially free. I want to just help people. I want to retire my family. He would say something along the lines of that, right? I'm pretty sure he's already said that before. 
And if we ask that same 22 year old, do you call your audience low IQ people? He would, he would probably reply with no, of course not. I, I would never call my audience low IQ people. I'm just using people as a placeholder for a much worse word. But the point is he would never do that. But again, after the success got to him, after he did retire his family, after he did become financially free, after he did help millions of people, it got to his head and he forgot where he came from. This is why all these YouTubers are falling off right now. Like, yes, it is because they did something stupid like uh, text miners or, you know, run a scam or whatever. But that's not the main reason. That is just a symptom of the real problem. And the real problem is them forgetting where they came from. They forgot their humble beginnings because the success just got to their head and they just start doing dumb shit. This is just two people. There's so many more people that have gotten exposed for doing something to someone or whatever. And it's kind of insane, like, I guess it's not really related to the video, but like, so many, every single day a YouTuber is getting exposed to something, like, it is actually crazy, I don't think you realize how insane this is, because it's never happened before, we, normally we'd get like one YouTuber a month, maybe if we were lucky we would get a YouTuber a week, this time we're getting a YouTuber every like, one or two days who's getting exposed for something. And I've been watching YouTube for seven years, which is actually quite a lot for my age. The biggest thing that I would say for someone who's starting off YouTube right now, or who is, you know, starting to experience success and is actually like starting to ride the wave, the biggest advice would be just remembering where you came from. Like, yeah, a million subscribers is great, but if you don't remember where you came from and you don't know how to treat the million subscribers right, you don't know how to treat yourself right, you don't know how to treat your brand right, What's the point of a million subscribers? You might as well be better off with no subscribers. And it goes beyond YouTube as well. Remembering where you came from is a massive, massive lesson that all of us need to know, even if you're not a YouTuber. It's just something that puts things into perspective that normally wouldn't be put into perspective after you, you know, start gaining success. In my opinion, remembering where you came from is the best way to maintain success because, you know, people can go viral every now and then, but how do you play the long game without messing it all up? And I feel like remembering where you came from is the best way to do that. That's just me though. If you have any other thoughts, please put them in the comments below. Click and watch this video if you want to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.